So one of my favorite quotes by Ralph Waldo Emerson, and you know I'm always quoting Emerson, is that the most difficult thing for a man to do is to be himself in a world that's constantly trying to change him. In fact, that's the very first quote that I read by Emerson and why I fell in love with his work. He wrote that about a hundred years ago, over a hundred years ago. And for him to have echoed that sentiment when we, the mass psychology of the time was not nearly as intertwined as it is today. The cities were smaller, he lived amongst nature, and there was no internet. Meant that he felt the pressure of conformity associated with putting his art out there for people to enjoy or to criticize. And there was a large time lapse between his creativity and that feedback. Do you see? So if he produced a piece of artwork, you know, an essay that he wrote or that he spoke, he might not get feedback until months later when someone reads it and maybe writes him a letter. If you are a, if you're living in today's day and age, regardless if you are a producer of content like I am or not, you're engaging with people at a prolific rate. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous how expansive our communication has become. If you are on Facebook, if you are on Twitter, if you are on YouTube, if you're using social media, email in any way, shape, or form, the communication, the interaction with people is instant and abundant. And the mo if the most difficult thing for a person to do is to be himself in a world that's constantly trying to change him, and Emerson wrote that it, during a time when the world wasn't bombarding him the way that it does today, means that it's a thousand times more difficult to produce pure content, pure art, to put yourself and all the transparency associated with what's coming up in your heart, all the rawness and truth of your art out for people to see. If you're doing that today, you'll be instantly either adored or attacked. Both are demons that will destroy your art. I only say this because it has been my experience. To create a video, or to, to use a piece, to create a, a piece of written art, or just sharing my ideas. See, what I do is I, I enjoy ideas, and I enjoy experiences, and I share my ideas and experience with people through the internet. Some people come to adore, and some people come to attack. The thing is that it's instant. How do you deal with being genuine and being true to yourself when you're instantly attacked or adored, and, and I'm going to use that term, an overall term to describe that, the, that instant feedback. The feedback is so instant and it impacts your consciousness so quickly that it's difficult to produce anything that is truly yours. It's always tainted with the sentiment of how do I continue to provide? How do I continue to share and, and, and receive back these loving feelings from the people who adore me? Or how do I manipulate my next piece of art in order to satisfy those who attack me? It's easy for me to say because my experience is, I mean, this is the life I live. I live a life where I put myself in front of everybody. I am my art, if you will. I speak and I, and I share. That's what I do. I make videos, you know? Like Emerson wrote and he stood up and, you know, and he was an orator. That's what they called it at the time. He spoke to crowds. Me, I speak to crowds through my iPhone like I'm doing right now. And the feedback, like I'm gonna upload this and there'll be comments. So mine is an extreme example. So you know that I have to be thinking about this shit and, and, and figuring out how to deal with this shit because it is my life. You on the other hand, it might not be the case. You know, you, but I can guarantee that if you're watching this, you have a YouTube account. You have a Facebook account more than likely, or a Twitter account. You're engaged in social media. You're engaged in the beehive mass consciousness, mass mind that's going on all around you. And it's so difficult to, to retain your own subjectivity and see the world objectively so that you can protect yourself and your rawness, your authenticity, without the scourge of attack or the hindrance of adorance. So what do you do? Easier said than done, but what I have to do, because I live an extreme example of what you may be experiencing, is you've got to ignore everyone. 
Easier said than done and something that I struggle with as well. But my invitation to you through this video is that if you'd like to live from your core, if you'd like to experience and produce raw, authentic, genuine art and that which the Spirit is doing through you, if you want to be true to yourself without the, being sullied by the opinions, either good or bad, negative or positive, because they're both forms of slavery, then you've got to ignore everyone. You've got to close your door, you've got to shut off your phone, you've got to shut off your computer. And you've got to sit down and you've got to be with yourself and the muse or the spirit or the, the soul, God, the daemon, so that you could be at one with the omnipresent universe and let it speak through you purely, become a hollow reed unobstructed by the opinions, positive and negative, of other people. I wish you the best.